Hello ladies and gents, my name's Lost and today we are going to look at equipment and how you can equip things to your character without having, you know, to redraw the character like a million times. Uh, now I will say right off the bat that this took me quite a while <laughs> to find like an optimal way to do this. So first off, what I was doing was I thought, I kind of thought to myself, right, you know, Am I going to have to redraw the character like a million different times, you know, holding like the different items? And I thought, I can't do that. You know, that that will take forever. Not only that, but that's the most unoptimal trash way I can think of to do this. Uh, so what, what we have is we have an idle animation, as you just saw, and a run animation. Uh, the origin, you have to make sure the origin is in the exact same place, roughly. As you can see, it's, it's, it's the same. I believe that is exactly the same. I know that the origin probably says slightly differently, does it? Yeah, but that's just because the images, because of the animations themselves, are different sizes. But as long as the origin is in the right place, then it's fine. Uh, so, as you can see, the equipment that we've got, you want to have the origin where the character is going to, where you want the character to hold it. So, if we was to put the origin here, then the character would hold uh, uh, the axe, like in the center, but obviously we want it to hold the handle. Um, so, yeah, let me show you how to do it then. Right then, so the reason we have notepad open now is because we need to take a note of a couple of things, right? So first of all, let's have a look at the idle player sprite. So we need the origin of this sprite. So we know that the origin is 20 by 46, as you can see right here, okay? Uh, and then what we need to do is we need to say, right, if it starts at 20 and 46, then we need it to be here, okay? And we know that that is, uh, let's see, we know that that's now 6 and 32. So I guess you're going to have to minus, you know, 14 on the uh, X. Is that the X or is that the Y? I'm actually not sure. I think that's the Y. So you've got to minus 14 on the Y to start with. Oh, God, that's going to be annoying. I need to stop clicking off it. Uh, and then we need to also minus um, 14, right? Not 14, is that right? I think it is actually yeah yeah I can do basic maths <laughs> right so my sprites are if you look at the animation now that that's obviously that's way too fast but they're looped so there's ten sprites um, zero to I believe like four and then five to nine uh, in reverse so it's all it's like a perfect loop right it's a perfect loop so therefore that then means that the uh, first animation, which is zero, and the last animation need to be offset by this. Okay? So then what you have to do, if that's the first one, you then have to go to the second one, and you then have to get the uh, image offset again. Okay? So then in this case, we know that now we need to, you know, minus 13 and minus 13 again. You see? Because uh, the difference between 20 and 7 is 13, and the difference between 46 and 33 is 13. Okay, so this is obviously going to be uh, what, 1 and 8, I guess. Yeah, 1 and 8. And then the next one, let's just get it again. Uh, so we're looking at minus 12 and minus 12. Now, I think I've just been extremely lucky in how this is sort of lining up <laughs> with like how they're exactly the same. Um, and that was quite lucky that that wasn't intentional <laughs> or anything like that. It was just very lucky. Um, so yeah, and then then what you do is one zero one two three. So we'll then do it for this one as well, and I'll just do it for the first half and show you what what we sort of get. Uh, yeah, let's put it there. So then we're looking at what's that minus eleven and minus eleven again, and that's then three and four. Not three and four, three and six, sorry. And then we need to do the last one. And in that case, it's here. And that's then minus 10 and minus 11. Uh, and yeah, that's that's four and five. Because uh, this is zero, one, two, three, four. This is four. This is five. They're exactly in the same position because it's looped, you see, as I said earlier. So then we're just going to get the sprite back to normal. I think it was, what did I say, 2046? Yes, it was. 
And yeah, now I'm going to show you the code. Now I will say, just quickly, I've, I've the, the calculations like that. You then have to do for every individual sprite. So you then have to go and do the same thing for like the run animation. Of course, mine's looped, so I can do it in the same way. Uh, but yeah, the coordinates are obviously going to change. So we should probably make a note that this one is just the idle animation offset. Uh, but then obviously you would have to do the run offsets. And if you have like an attack, you have to do attack as well, etc. And I can't spell for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, you see what I'm saying, guys? That's what you then have to do. Uh, so yeah. Now let's get into the code and see what we have to do. So first things first then, in the in your player object, um, I mean, as, this stuff you can see here is just like basic movement code and just basic variables and stuff. Uh, I'll just give you the brief rundown. So when we left click, we get the desk text and the desk y, which is the mouse. Set moving to true, if moving to true, we set the sprite to running. Um, we set the x scale, so whether we're facing sort of left or right. Uh, we're setting the destination, uh, sorry, we're just checking to see if we're there, and obviously we're moving and all that sort of stuff. And you know, then once we're there, we just set moving to false. That's all this is. We've got the keyboard buttons down here. I'm just uh, changing the tool that we use. Uh, we're going to create this variable in a sec. Uh, and yeah, that, that's all we're doing here, guys. So uh, this is just a basic setup. Uh, I don't know what your game might look like where you'd use this. So you know, I can't, there's no point in me going for all this. You know, with it, you might as well. It's not. It's not really relevant, is it? So, anyway, we need my tool, and we'll just start that as another one. And we also need tool on him. Also, I'm going to keep looking towards the left because that's where my notes are for this. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's the start. Now, what we're going to do is, as you can see, I've only got one object. I'm not creating a different object every time we equip something. There's no point in doing that. That's inefficient to have another object there when I don't know. You just don't need it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to get things drawn to the player. So in the draw event, as you see, we're drawing ourselves. And the reason you draw self first is because um, if you think of like the way layers work, uh, it, the layer, for, like it's, I guess it's kind of different in this sense. So because the layers at the top, so draw self, think of this as a layer. That's at the top, that's like the top layer. And the next, the next draw is we're saying draw tool. So we'll draw the tool on top of the character. If you see what I'm saying like that, that's just the way to go about it. Uh, so if we go to, obviously I've got script draw tool. Uh, I'm just going to go there now. So in script draw tool, uh, I'm just going to do the first couple and then I'm going to skip ahead because th there's kind of a lot of code in here. So uh, we're going to just say because, sorry, I should all just should also just mention we're going to allow for um, animations on the uh, the sprites themselves. You know, like the equipment sprites. I, I don't mean. I mean, like, it's for example, the lightsaber glows. Uh, so we, we can't have a situation where we just draw one sub-image. We have to check to see if there are a number of sub-images sub within the image itself. So if this one glows, you can't really tell in the game because it's it's very small and I didn't do the glow very well, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, so, yeah, we have to allow for that. So what we have to do is we have to say, if my tool does not equal no one, and then we have to say, var sub num uh, equals sprite get num my tool uh, sprite get num what am I doing sprite get number my tool so sprite get number gets the number of sum images in the sprite that you specify here and obviously we set my tool as you know, down here we set it with the one, two, three keys. So that's how we know. That's how we get that. Uh, and then we just have to say if subnum um, is bigger than zero. So that means, you know, there is at least one sub image, obviously. Then we just say if tool anim is less than or equal to subnum minus one. Now let me explain what this is. So, in fact, let me just do this bit. Tool anim uh, plus equals zero point four. So let's just take stock from it. Right? Let's let's not get crazy. So, tool anim is going to be the animation of the tool. I I probably maybe should have called it equipment, but I've called it tool now. Whatever. So if it's less than subnum minus one, and the reason you have to do that is because we have ten animations, right? So tool anim 
is going to go from 0 to 10, right? But the problem is that sub image is going to go from 1 to, um, sorry, that's going to go from 0 to 9, and sub image is going to go from 1 to 10. Now that's a problem. That's a problem because they're not equal, <laughs> right? They're not going to be the same. And that's why we have to take away 1 here, you see. That's all that is. Uh, so we'll say if toolanim is less than sub image minus 1, uh, then plus 0 0.4. And the reason I've done 0 0.4 is that that's just the speed I've gone for with the player. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I maybe could actually just say plus equal, you know, image speed. That, that would also do the job just nicely. Um, else, we'll just go tool anim equals 0. So that the tool animation is back to the start. Uh, and then we also need to say here, else, and we'll just put tool anim to zero. So we're just saying if sub image sub image sorry if sub number is bigger than zero then go through this else just make sure the tool animation is zero so there is no animation. Okay. Now we need a var var image and we're gonna go seal image index um, minus one. So that what seal does is it just rounds the number up. So you, if you use the the um, if you just use round there, it'll round it down. But we need to round it up because if we round it down, because we're in zero point four, I'm not sure whether it, that's the image, the image speed is zero point four. So I'm not sure whether it will ever get to like the last animation. That's why I'm rounding it up. Um, perhaps round would work as well. This is just the way I've chosen to do it. Uh, so now you have to check for like the different. Um, animations that your player is currently on. So we'll just say if sprite index um, is anim idle, uh, then if image is zero, or if image uh, equals nine, then we'll do something in here. Now, as I said, my sprites here are perfectly looped. So zero is exactly the same as nine, the sub the sub image that is, um, and we're just checking for anim idle, and then we're going to say, so if image x scale equals one, so if we're facing towards the right, then we're going to do this. We're going to say draw sprite ext, and we'll say my tool for the sprite, and uh, we'll just say tool anim for the sub image, uh, and then this is where now. <laughs> Stupidly, I deleted the notes that I took earlier of like the actual coordinates, like the offset values. But I've obviously in my notes, I've already got all this. So, and it's slightly different to what I got earlier as well. But it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's virtually the same thing. So, we need to say our x minus fourteen, okay? And then we just need to say y minus thirteen. Now, I think in when I did the, the math earlier, it was minus fourteen minus fourteen, wasn't it? But just in my notes, I have it this way, so I'm going to do it this way, just to be on the safe side. And then it wants to be the image x scale, and just the same as the player. It's always going to be 1, so it's, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. And rotate, we're going to have 15. C white, 1. So the color's white. Obviously, it's not actually white. That just means... I don't really know why C white does nothing. It just means it's the normal color of your, of your sprite. And the alpha is 1, so that we can see it properly. Uh, and completely, I should say. So then we would say, um, you know, else. So if if image x scale is then going to be minus one, because that means you face it to the left, then we need to do draw sprite ext. We'll go with my tool again, uh, tool anim, and then I believe it's just x plus fourteen. Let me check. Yep, there it is. And obviously, oops, it's just the opposite. Y still needs to minus thirteen. That's exactly the same. Image x scale, image y scale, uh, fifth. Oh, actually, minus fifteen. The rotation is the opposite as well, so minus fifteen. C y and an alpha of one to make sure it's completely visible. And now, spoiler alert, ladies and gents. I obviously already did this, <laughs> so I'm just going to bring all that stuff back. There it is. Yeah. So. Obviously, this is in the idle, uh, yeah, idle animation. It's just 
checking all of them and it's doing the exact same thing we just wrote there but for all of them and then obviously for the animation run the x and y's are slightly different on some of them it's a bit more of a dramatic increase as you can see there's like a one pixel increase on the um, idle stuff but on the run stuff there's like it's a bit more drastic uh, and that's just because the the arms are further away at a fa sort of a faster rate you know so yeah let's let's just once again see how it all works so yeah as you can see guys we are just equipping things we can run around with it and it stays in the exact place it should uh, same with the knife or the sword or whatever this is <laughs> and then the lightsaber as well that's supposed to be flashing but <laughs> it's the flash is that poor that you can barely see it but I promise you it is animating I have I have tested it uh, but yeah that's about it guys thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time hey guys lost here Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new and want more content like this, and please give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Catch you guys later.